Okay, so it is June 25th. We just got back from Summit, which is super exciting, and we had a great time there. Um, I would love for everybody, though, to start off and just say one thing that you are grateful for. Mm. Jess, you want to start? Sure. Um, I am so grateful for all the hugs I got to get at the last week. Like my soul needed them because oh. it allowed me to release some tension that I didn't know I had and re-guide my vision. I love that. Heidi? So, um, first, like happy thing that I was grateful for this morning is that my house has two bathrooms because <laughs> this morning like I got up and I was like John got up at the same time I did and I was like are you going to the bathroom and he's like yes and I was like okay I'm going to the other bathroom so I'm at my house has two bathrooms there you go I love that I love that yeah being in a hotel room doesn't uh doesn't ever make you closer to anybody else <laughs> that's how I do it what about you Heather what's one thing you're grateful for uh, I am thankful, luckily he's not here to hear me, but I, cause otherwise it'll like inflate his ego a little bit. I'm, <laughs> I'm thankful for an amazing husband because you know, he, everything I threw at him today, he, he accepted with grace and, um, he let me buy my ticket early, like super duper early. So I'm pretty excited. Yay. Oh, good. That's exciting. Yeah. And he uh, also agreed to the hotel. So there you go. There you go. Just, I don't know what's pro what's happening, but I mean, the next thing he's over. going to agree to finally letting you sign him up as a coach. <laughs> I like <laughs> speaking the affirmative. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What about you, Neil? What's something you're grateful for? Um. Uh, well, I'm kind of had mixed emotions at the moment. Uh oh. But the first thing I thought of was our Vitamix blender. <laughs> and we Amen. got that one too, Neil. Amen to that. Um, and yeah, that's I don't know. We use it pretty much every day. We do. And uh, he just made his. I just drink. I just made a bunch of extra calories. Tried to suck them down, and I'm kind of full, so I'm not feeling the best. But <laughs> I I'm thankful for it. There so, yeah, so. you go. Yep. I'm thankful that it still works, even though Neil broke the bottom. Of it and like the base is literally like half of the base is gone but it still sits on there and it works and it's a little it's a little shysty we got it at the <laughs> used store anyway like uh yeah it was like a hundred dollar vitamix from the from like a used store so i was like oh, yeah yeah mega replay kind of awesome yeah we've had it for a long time yeah good i like that <laughs> mixed feelings uh, i am grateful for us uh, uh sleeping with all my pillows because mm. I'm like huge on all the pillows around my bed. Hey, Kathy, we Hi. just wake up and you get to your turn now. You're in the hot seat. You got to say one thing that you're grateful for. I don't know if she can hear you. Oh, can you hear me? Me? Yes. Yeah. You, you got to say, oh. we just went through, you're kind of like glowing. It's really cool. Um, what's uh, one thing that you're grateful for? I just woke up from a nap with Wyatt. <laughs> Yay! That's like the best. That's awesome. Yep. That's awesome. That's so fun. Um, okay. Next thing I want to do is I do want to go into recognition. Um, because, and I know, I don't think, so Michelle has like, when Michelle's um, assistant helps with these things, she has the whole downline. So I am going to use, I'm always going to use um, Michelle's like latest post. So I think I grabbed her latest ones. Let me, <laughs> how do I share? Share screen. There we go. I'm like, I know I normally share screen. Easy. All right. So here we will start with our success club. Um, so Michelle herself um, is up there, but we will go with our June life changers. And these probably have changed because this post was actually done June 19th and it is now June 25th. So um, Emily Dimich has uh, four. Erica has four. Eric, Erica Anderson, sorry, I'll 
do both the first and last name, has for Angela, and I'm always saying Angela's last name wrong, Angela Unrun, has two, Becky, and I say Becky's last name wrong as well, has two, uh, Justin Bush, which is Morgan Bush's husband, has two, um, Adrian Childress has two, Jessica Larson has two, Susan Hart Glanspeak has two, and Becky Bryant has two. So those are all people that have helped one or two people with a challenge pack or success club, um, or excuse me, challenge pack or Shakeology on Home Direct. Um, myself, uh, excuse me, myself, Heather and Kelsey, um, Heather Howard, who's on the call with us, and Kelsey Wenberg um, have gotten six success club points, which means that they have helped three people. Um, Davida Champa has helped 10, or helped five people with 10 success club points. I have on the board, it's showing six at 12 points, and Michelle is showing 18, which means that she has helped nine people. So way to go, guys. This 30 people so far this month, and like I said, this isn't even as up to date as it probably could be, because I think these come out on Thursdays. So um, the other part of recognition, right here is the volume boards. So I'll just share, volume is huge. Um, part of the, the residual income factor in Beachbody. It's something that I didn't understand until I watched. There's this video in the back office. If you just search Beachbody volume, um, there's a video and you're gonna see Michael Neiman and he is literally holding action figures and moving them around places and showing you how much volume <laughs> is. And honestly, I have to watch it like three or four times and that's the best way to understand the volume in my opinion. Um, because sometimes if you do what we did, which we Googled volume sometime, and we got to a Scotty Hobbs video, and it just made me angry. Because I was like, holy shit, they have a ton of volume in their team. Like, li like I remember, it was like, it was, it was like one of those, that's Lindsay Matway's team and Scotty Hobbs and like a bunch of powerhouse coaches that have been around for a little while. 1.5 million volume. It's right. Yeah, 1.5 million volume. Million volume. volume. <laughs> yeah. I, was just, I just kind of looked at that and I was like, wow, I mean, it's a great video, but I can't think about anything else other than I'm so jealous right now. <laughs> um, so anyway. Anyways, uh, that's, that's, but volume is what really drives the residual income factor of the business. So having volume is um, very key and helpful. Um, but again, I don't explain it the best. I am going to stop sharing my screen so you don't see my messy. I need to plug in, Tamara. Do I? Do I need to plug in? Oh, I do need to plug in. I'm like, oh, I kept looking at your screen like, holy crap, my computer's going to die. Uh -oh. oh, wait, it's not I'd, mine. I'd be right back. Um, <laughs> no, have you, well, you haven't read this, everyone. I was going to have him. Hold on, I'll be right back. <laughs> 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 and the uh, team called Trivia Hour. Yay! <laughs> 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 All right, we're getting to plug it. Yeah, you're right. I saw that it was at like 14 or something when I was starting, and I was like, yeah, that'll last. Yeah, that was really awkward. Well. Um, okay, so one of the main things coming off of Summit that I want to really focus on a little bit today with you guys, um, and then of course we'll open it up, but I want to spend like the next, I don't know, like 10 minutes or so, maybe give or take, focusing on um, limiting beliefs, because we will go to Summit, we'll get super hyped up, we'll see all these great things that people are doing, and we'll think, I can't do that. That's not for me. Um, like even myself, I'll share as an example. Um, I was like really inspired by Emily Favre, and I'm probably saying her last name wrong too. Her story, how she went from like a, a shaky one star diamond all the way to like 19 diamonds in, on her team, like literally since February of this year. And I was like, man, that's amazing. So then I was like, I'm going to research her a little bit. And I'm not, I don't normally research coaches. That's just not my thing. Um, but I was like, I'm going to research her a little bit. So I researched Jess 2.0. <laughs> let me see if it'll let you have a, let me see if it'll ask to start video. Hey, this is so much better. Sorry. <laughs> <Yay>. <laughs> Didn't mean to ruin it. Okay. I'm going to go over here. Okay. Whoa. That was so nice. Yes. Okay. There we go. Um, but so anyways, I, you know, I was like, oh, I my research your story. Like, this sounds like, you know, really cool. And then I, you know, I, I started researching like how she got there and it was, you know, she, 
<clears throat> she basically was, she basically told a, a group of people, like I used to get like five to 10 success club points my first like two years as a coach. And then I started picking it up and realizing like five wasn't enough to grow a business. Um, so even before she got selected, so she did get selected to be in the coach test group for 80 day obsession, which you guys being in a coach test group, like I'm not going to sugarcoat it. It really freaking helps um, your business. It gives you like that. It, it's a mindset thing. And it, and it also gives you this very public display. Um, but one thing that I encourage us to do right now with lift four is truly treat this and that group. If you're doing lift four or if you're in Ilana's to be mindset group, like really start to treat this as if you are in your own coach test group. And when you share, don't be afraid to like share it. Like I am in this amazing test group. They're calling it a test group. So like we can, we ourselves can actually get in the mental mindset. Like I am in a lift four test group and I'm getting to do this because we are, we are getting to do this program with the trainer. So if, whether it's mess de mas or to be mindset, or, um, I think autumn has another ADA obsession group. Um, or Alana's, um, yeah, I just said that to you guys that, or Joel's lift four, you know, like you act like you're in the test group if that's what would help motivate you. I know for me, like that would help motivate me. So I know for me, I'm going to have to like really cling to that. Um, so I had like multiple times today, like when I was thinking about like, oh my gosh, like I don't like, I don't want to have 50 successful points. I don't want to have 25 people. And then I'm like, yeah, actually you do. Like that would make for a really kick-ass challenge group. Like how fun would that be? Um, and so I have to really backtrack it. And I love, um, there is a section in the You Are a Badass at Making Money book where she really goes through it. So I kind of wanted to go through this with you guys. And I've done different ways to break limiting beliefs before. And I don't know if it was just because I was really into this book that this one clicked with me, but I have, there's multiple methods. If you need some, I think I still have access to my GoPro methods and stuff. Um, so I think I have them all saved actually in a file of like breaking through limiting beliefs. So um, here's the drill. Become aware of what your limiting thoughts and beliefs are, and then you question and investigate them, and then you rewrite them, and you say it loud and proud. Um, I'm actually just going to go through her limiting belief series so that it's just very clear and concise. Um, so I'm going to do this for the first few so you can see how it works. There's an unhelpful thought. Money can't buy happiness, because that's something that we're told a lot when we're growing up, okay? So question, what makes you, what makes me happy? Answer, hanging out with people. I love grilled cheese sandwiches, being loved and loving others, laughing my ass off, giving great gifts, traveling, hiking, playing with my dog, taking road trips, listening to music, drinking beer, having my own business, leaving huge tips, freedom, getting massages. Question, does money help me achieve any of these happy things? Answer, yes. Rewritten thought, money supports my happiness. So the, it was money can't buy you happiness. And then you say, well, what does buy you happiness? What, what does make you happy? And then you list all the things that make you happy. And then you say, okay, so does having money help me achieve any of those things that make me happy? If it does, yes. Okay, great. Change that money can't buy me happiness to money supports my happiness. Um, so here's another one. Um, and this can be, this one I, I would say is really true for like, um, I can, I can see this one. So anyways, I'm going to say it. I'll just go through it. The unhelpful thought. I'd rather focus on having fun than making money. So for example, as like a mom, I would rather focus on spending time with my kids than working my business. That's kind of what you're saying. Like, which it's true. You want to focus on spending time with your kids. That's why you like Melanie Mitchell, your life out and block out time if that's what helps you or like really telling your family, like, these are the times that I'm available. These are the times that I'm working. I know Heidi's talking, we've been talking about that. Um, so anyways, the helpful thought, I'd rather focus on having fun than making money. Okay, question, is it fun when you make money? Yes, when I make money, it is fun, but what I have to do to make it is not fun. Okay, question, would it be worth your time during, one, during your one and only life to find or create an occupation that is fun? Answer, yes. Okay, question. Do you understand that anything you set your mind to is possible, even having a job that is lucrative and fun? Answer, yes. Rewritten thought. I make money. I make making money fun. So even if you're not 100% on board with believing your like rewritten thoughts, like you got to feel like the more emotional and uplifting they are than the sad versions of those thoughts. So um, shifting your narrative with the same diligence a mechanic might replace a busted carburetor isn't a bunch of pain in the a busy work, but something that can help you make real transformation in your life. So there's a lot of different limiting beliefs that I think we have on ourselves. Like, oh, I can't do what she did. 
or <clears throat> oh, I can't do that because I've, I've got kids and she just works, you know, she's working from home by herself. You know, like all those things are so unhelpful that <clears throat> when we start like speaking that instead of like, okay, you know what? I have this amazing family and my kids are freaking awesome to hang out with because we have a blast most of the time. And, <laughs> <laughs> and I might as well like, you know, go and have a blast at my job and then have a really good time with them instead of like, you know, trying to like worry about mixing it all and saying, Oh, I don't have any time for everything. Cause if you really like each body, which we all really do, we all really like our fitness and nutrition programs. Why not pass that along to somebody? Why not pass that? Um, Michelle, is Michelle said, mm, there's Kathy twice. <laughs> no, you're good. Michelle had said something to me when I was talking to her about, um, I was like, I want to make like a script for inviting for everybody. And, um, I want to, you know, like, you know, make sure that people are honing in on this amazing opportunity that we have with Joel or, um, which I don't think that we have too many Spanish speaking people, but still Adele, Adalis, um, you know, with both of them, like there's a coach test group that are like everybody can get into. So when you're speaking to people about lift four, for example, I'm, you know, I straight up told somebody on the phone today, I was like, yeah, it's going to be awesome. Like we get in this amazing group with the creator of the lift four program where he's going, like you can literally ask him in real time on a live video a fitness question that you have or a nutrition question that you have. And he will most likely answer you back because that's what they do. Instead of you asking me the question and me being like, oh, I don't know, let me go Google that for you. Or I don't know, let me go see if it's somewhere in the coach online office that answers this random question about your right kneecap that hurts on this lung, random lunge move. When I'm like, not a personal trainer at all. Um, so anyways, I was like, it is going to be so helpful to be able to join as a coach and you're going to get 25% off of your Shakeology and you're going to get that extra accountability. And the main thing I want you to know is as soon as you feel that first spark of joy and getting your workout or your shake or the energy that you feel or the happiness or the confidence, whatever sparks that first thing that lights you on fire that you know is only because you're doing the lift for program you have to pay that forward you have to tell somebody about it whether you sign up as a coach or not like I want you to pay it forward so that's like what I'm speaking to people right now is like I'm telling them like it is important that they pay it forward and I really believe that that is going to help our challengers like continuously think about like oh that's right my coach she told me to, to tell somebody I'm gonna tell my coworker. Like, man, my shake tastes good. And it's and like, man, this is helping with my energy. Or yeah, and it's like my pants are feeling really well, you know, even if it's just like you talking to your mom or something. So um, so I told that to her today. And I said, you know, even if it's just your husband that you talk to about, like you're gonna feel more confident when you start to share it a little bit. And that's the whole point of this is making sure that you're not keeping these great secrets to yourself that you're helping people because I know that you're going to. So um, I, whether she signs up as a coach or not, I don't know, but that's kind of where I went with it. So anyway, and that took a lot of freaking limiting belief work. <laughs> so, that's awesome. <laughs> so, and really huge help to Michelle, cause like that was, that was all her like, and her word was transformation. When you get your transformation, share that. And then for me, I said, well, Michelle, I don't like, even though I have a transformation, I always think like, whenever I think of the word transformation, I think of physical. Um, and that's again, just a limiting belief of my own. And so I was like, well, I'm going to use the word, whatever finds, whatever you find that sparks joy, because that's kind of like for me. And I think maybe the people that I attract. So, all right. Well, that was like, so what I want to do on team calls is I always want to go over recognition and what we're grateful for. And then like have some sort of like, you know, if somebody has like something awesome that they're just like super excited to, to do or train on, like always have that opportunity. Um, and then like right now we're, we're kind of doing a diamond dash and, um, Jess kind of reached out to me as soon as I said, I kind of want to help people with a diamond dash. And although and behold, Jess messages me, I want to help you with that. And I was like, I think I want to start this week. And she's like, okay, <laughs> let's do it. And I'm like, okay. So, um, and then Heidi, I know had messaged me and was like, well, as long as it's not a buy-in thing, cause we have done them in the past where you like buy in and it's like a money pot and you pay like, what was it? $50. Like it was a, it was like a chunk that we were all like, Ooh, and like whoever reached diamond got to split the pot and we're not doing that. We're just doing like a regular, like, let's just like have fun with our business and take this momentum from summit and see who we can help and brainstorm what's working and share what's working. So like, I'm going to share motivation. Jess is going to share motivation. We're going to try to, anytime that you think of like a good script, like I just shared, like share it in the team page. And, um, and if you hashtag diamond dash, I think Michelle and I, and 
I think her assistant can turn things into units in there. She's like just upgraded me so that I can like put things into units. So we'll try to put this into units so that it's kind of um, synchronized so that like if we do this later, we can kind of go back easier. So any questions right now? Feedback? No. You rock star, Tamara. Thanks for kicking it off and getting us all on the right track. No, I'm so excited. You guys like lit my soul on fire by seeing all of you at Summit. Like, I'm just like, this is so much fun and it's exciting and it's nice to be around everybody. And, you know, I just really saw like, we all have like these, these goals. So I guess that's the other thing, you know, I, I put in there like the goal setting thing um, for us. So what, what is somebody, wh whoever wants to share maybe one of your goals for this week or a couple of them? <laughs> I think for me too, like I caught myself because like y'all all know that I'm the queen of limiting beliefs, but like, so on the plane, um, yesterday coming home when I was working on the goals, like it started off, like, these are my goals. And then like, I rewrote them and I was like, okay, I'm going to do X, Y, and Z. Or it was started. I want to do. And then I was like, no, I'm going to do. And then it was like, no, I am doing. So that way, like, they always like with affirmations, you know, it's like the whole I am, you know, and so um, I know that we all shared our goals, but like not only just saying like I am doing X, Y, and Z, Michelle challenged me to put action steps mm -hmm. with those things like, okay, I want to hit success club 10. Well, like you need to make sure that you're understanding like, okay, I am going to do the vital behaviors every day. Like I am going to get my power hour in. So like, even though we've shared the goals, like if you were just kind of sharing on the tip of the iceberg, like I challenge you to go back and like dig deeper. And then when you're happy with that list, like hang it on the wall and like put it in places. So that way, like every day, you know what you got to do because that's what I got to do. And like John and I went to dinner tonight and like, you know, and I'm told him like, this, you know, it's about to get crazy. And so, um, for me, my goal this week, <laughs> not even this week, I'll rewind that. My goal for tonight and tomorrow is to really solidify my schedule, um, not only for life, but my business hours, because I shared with Tamara earlier that my in-laws are actually moving to town this week. And they have the mindset of like, oh, you're just a stay-at-home mom. You don't do anything all day long. And they're actually moving closer. Um, because they need help with their health. And like, I know that as time progresses that like, I'm going to, I'm bringing them to the doctor on Wednesday. And like, this is day, like they're literally moving to town Tuesday and I'm bringing them to a doctor's appointment Wednesday. So like, you know, I need them to understand like, okay, you can have my time from nine to one during the day. But when school starts, like I have to be in the car line to pick up Samson at two or, you know, like whatever. So I need to have my ducks in a row so that way I can better communicate with them like look I can help you but this is what my availability is and like I've never done that and so um when I say that like I'm lacking discipline like I need to hold like if I'm gonna hold everybody else to that and say okay these are my hours like I need to hold myself to that and so that's kind of where I'm what my priority is for the next two days really I agree. I need to set that stuff up too. I don't know. Am I muted? No, I was pulling you up. <laughs> yeah, no, I need to really set in place my stuff and think ahead to August when I'm starting to teach again because um, working out at four and then not getting home till probably three or four, it's going to be busy, but I just have to figure out times. Right. No, that makes sense. Hi, Allison. Hi. We missed you. I missed being there. <laughs> I know. Next year, we're in India again. So, uh, Did you get Allison for next year? I'm sorry? Did you get your ticket for next year yet? Not yet. I'm, gonna, I'm planning on buying it um, either this week or next week before July 8th, right? That's when it goes up again. So... Yeah. That's my plan. Yes, to buy it. Get in on the, on the hotel uh, reserve reservations with Tamara. Okay. Yes, I just responded to the oh. message. 
Yeah, I um, I put in a personally, just so you know, Kathy and Jessica, I can do this too if you guys want. Um, I was going to put it all in Team Give, but I can probably only afford to block off like five rooms. Um, and so I have the option to register today for hotel rooms. So I was thinking of blocking off five. And so I was, I was like, what hotel room, like which hotel do we want? Um, but you know, it always happens that like we block off like five and then, you know, maybe one whole room is open. So we'll, we'll see what's uh, the deal, but that's what we had discussed doing. Um, so yay. Um, and then, so Heidi, so just so you know, Allison, we kind of um, started off with um, sharing what we were grateful for and then going into recognition. Um, and then we kind of went into a little bit of limiting beliefs. And then um, Heidi and Kathy have both shared some of their goals for this next week, which were both kind of really a game plan of what does my schedule look like? When will I work? How do I communicate? Like making sure, not how, but really just communicating that to the family to let them know like, Hey, these are like my work hours. These are our family hours, um, which is a very Melanie Mitro thing. If you guys ever listen to her podcast, like she makes it really clear that she jumbled her hours and was really bad in the beginning. And I mean, she, she boomed because of it, but looking back, that wasn't healthy for her family. And it could have, it could have lost her, her whole family if she wasn't careful. So that's something that I think is really important. Um, and then what else did I say? Oh, so Allison, what's one thing that you're grateful for? I'm grateful for my family and my baby and my husband. <laughs> <laughs> good, good. Um, let's see, any other like, um, oh, and Heidi, um, I really liked Heidi, your point of when you have a goal that like, okay, great, like here's a goal, but you have to set tactics for it and you have to backtrack it and you need to hang it up somewhere. Cause I am the queen of all queens of like, here's my goals. And then like, I put it in my folder and then I don't look at it until like Friday. And I'm like, Oh, did I do that stuff? I said I was going to do all, Oh, well, let me do that real quick. You know, it's just like, <laughs> It's just like so silly. Like that's just not what it needs to be. Um, and I love, I really think that setting like three month goals are good, like quarterly goals. Um, and then backtracking those, but not really setting like, I think setting big goals are great, but like you really need to quantify it and break it back down. And for me, I know like three months is kind of like a good like limit. <laughs> mm -hmm. Right now I'm on three weeks. I, I decided <laughs> it was time to set a three week goal and just, I'm going to go for it. I don't know how to hit five star. I mean, I know what it takes sort of, but I'm going to figure it out. And if we do it, cool. If not, we're closer to that goal than we were before. Um, so, yeah. Um, so yeah, that's my, one of my goals is my five star plan. So it's really like, I just really need to figure out like how to backtrack, like how many people do I need to talk to. Yeah. And or do what? Like the backwards engineering. Yeah. The backwards engineering. So for example, I know, um, it's most likely going to require my second business center to go diamond where I only have three coaches in there and only one of them is active. So I'm going to need seven coaches. I know me, that means I'm literally, which this kind of scares the bejeebies out of me, but like I need to break through my limiting beliefs of it. I literally will need to invite at least 70 people to the coaching opportunity just to get seven coaches in that one business center. And that's like, not all it takes. Like I know that there's like, you know, I think 20 coaches that you need active, um, that might actually be two star. I don't know. I gotta, I gotta look at it. Um, so I haven't done my due diligence on that aspect. Cause I was just like, just go off your energy right now. Just like, you know, just go and feed off of that and you'll figure it out as it comes. And if it happens, like kind of like I said, if it happens, it happens. It's one of those, like, I really want it, but I also don't want to put so much pressure on myself. Um, what was Braylon? What did Braylon say tonight? Our daughter? Oh, she, she asked why you had your bracelets on. And oh. Because, um, I can't take them off until I hit my goals. And she goes, well, just hit your goals. <laughs> so just just yeah. hit your goals. And I was like, okay, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> I was, Jordan and I were talking about our goals last night at dinner a little bit more. We were explaining to Maddie, our daughter's five. Mm -hmm. And so she's kind of getting to that cognitive age of where she sort of understands. And I was like, okay, so we're going to be working really hard and we're going to have fun still. But it's going to be a lot of hard work. And she looked at Jordan. She goes, daddy, you just make sure you let mommy go potty when she needs to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Game. Good. Got it. <laughs> <That's> so funny. <laughs> oh. oh, I love it. Uh, these 
kids. Yeah. And that was, you know, on, and then that's why in our goal setting thing, you know, it breaks down into the four quadrants. Every week you need to make sure that you have some business goals, some team goals, some personal life goals and family goals, because that's so important to talk to your kids. Like, Hey, like, Mommy might not be like, you know, mommy might not watch movie with you. Like I might be in the other room or, you know, you might have to, for my kids, you might have to go to the YMCA on Friday when normally that's like mom only time for the next three weeks. If mom's really going to try to push for this big goal to help our family. And, and if we, if we hit this goal, mommy gets to take her bracelet off and we're going to go out for pizza. Like, you know, like that's, <laughs> so yeah, you're, what's yeah. Heidi has hers on. I know. I'm like, I really want to take them off. That is really feeling really my fashion statement. So I'd do it too. Yeah. <laughs> I got torn it at Summit. Oh. But I do have a goal, and it is to sign up a coach this week. I want to sign a coach this week. That's exciting. I have two people that I've got, like, on the rail that are ready. They're ready. They just have to, like, say, okay. Yeah. So That's one of them is going to sign this week. One of them will sign this week. Yeah, and that's the other thing too, you know, just really speaking speaking like it's going to happen. And Heather did a really good job at this um, earlier when, um, so her and um, Sarah, one of the people that, that she is hoping will join her team, well, that will join her team, excuse me, um, she had sent us, I know, God, break that habit. So um, Sarah actually sent us a message and was like, hey, are there any of those lift, hit it and quit it shirts available? Oh, it was Laura. Oh, was it Laura? I'm saying Sarah. I'm sorry. Laura. Those are the both. The, the <laughs> Sarah's the other one. <laughs> so, but Laura um, had asked for the shirt. And um, anyways, I can't remember, but you had said, you had mentioned something like, yeah, you should, you need to be here with us next year in Indianapolis. And I was like, heck yeah, you do. And, you know, we just kind of went back and forth on that, on the messenger and sent like video messages and, and Heather got all confident and it was, you know, it's, it was good. It was good. It was really good. So just breathing life. And, and Heather even said to her, like, um, cause I think she was like, well, I don't know if I'm ready right now. And Heather was like, it doesn't matter if you're ready right now, you're going to sign up and I'm ready when you're ready. So, you know, go ahead and do it kind of thing. <laughs> nice. Yeah. So it was cool. It was really cool to see you do that. Um, um, so I guess, oh, I guess I forgot to say a little bit of, um, kind of not really housekeeping, but just like what's coming up. So don't forget there's Joel's lift four workout on Saturday um, that we can all invite to, and we should be inviting to. Um, and then um, I believe it's still going to be on Sunday. Doug Fitzgerald's business opportunity webinar should still be this Sunday at nine Eastern. But then also throughout this whole week, if you, um, if you're in the, what is health and fitness coaching group, and if you're not in there, you can request to be in there. I know I added Kathy today, um, but we're just going to go live on different topics. I know today was fitness. Tomorrow is nutrition. And then the next one is kind of like recognition, like success club. Like, what does that mean? How does that help you? Um, and then, yeah, I wrote, I wrote it in team give the next couple of days, but we can just, if you have something you want to share, if you have somebody that you want to add to that group, it's set up in units. Um, but then like anything that we add this week will not be in the units. It'll just kind of be like here in the discussion tab. So I know Heather put a video in there and just kind of share whatever, you know, if it's related to that topic, great. If it's not even, and you just want to share it, just share it. Like it's not going to not gonna bother me <laughs> it's not gonna bother anybody it's if it's good information it's good information somebody needs to hear it um, so use that group to just kind of encourage people to learn about like what is Beachbody like what is health and fitness coaching how can this help my family and really focus on like well how has it helped you like whenever you're just like well I don't know it's only like you know paid my phone bill like once or twice like that's big deal like there's a lot of people that that would mean a whole lot to for them to be able to have a little bit of income or, Oh, I don't know. Like it's just connected me with like my friends. It hasn't given me any money, but like it's connected me like these really awesome friends. Like, cool. That's like the best thing ever. Everybody wants community. And like most of the time you get like together in person with those people after a while, if you don't live near them, you do trips with them. So it's like, that's a huge, like that's a huge thing for a lot of people that they are seeking and that they need in their life. So just pay it forward. Kind of like when I said, when I talked to um, the woman on the phone today about joining in with lift four and you know, when she, when her first spark of joy comes and that first thing that was just like sets her soul on fire and like if it's energy or if it's, you know, that she's noticing transformation, like pass that forward. Don't, don't keep that to herself. She's got to pass it forward and share it with somebody. Even if she's not a coach, like I still want her to do that. So, um, so I'm already like breathing life into people that aren't even like 
in our challenge group yet by telling them like, you need to pass it on. Cause like, that's the nice thing that you do. So even us as coaches, we need to continue to pass on like the good things that have happened um, and share the struggles too. People need to, you need to be real and raw. So don't be afraid. Um, is there any other things that are, um, the hotel thing, I'll let you guys know um, if we book what hotel and what five rooms are available. And, and then I, I will put that in team give though. So just so you know, like I will, I will post that in team give, like when I have five rooms and I know Heather has claimed one and Haley has claimed one. So, um, and then I'll go look at the post Allison as well. So if there's some that are already pre-claimed, but and Michelle can buy rooms too, but she was, I think she's doing that house. What's so. Neil's goal? My goal, um, this week, I want to get, well, I guess I'm making it kind of easy on myself. I want to get 10 people on the business opportunity webinar on Sunday. You will get 10 people on the business opportunity webinar on Sunday. I will get at least 10 people. Which would be huge. That would be our highest number ever. That would be awesome. Yeah. So that's, that's my goal for the week. That's pretty good. We really like Doug's business opportunity webinar. We actually need to amp that up a little bit this week. We got to meet him in person um, on the floor and I would definitely say that was like the highlight of our entire summit. Well, for me it was, and I think you said the same thing. Like all three of us cried when we met each other. So it was pretty good. <laughs> so, well, he didn't cry, of course. <laughs> he was um, thinking about the Vitamix again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I need that later. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, what, what time does Doug do his webinar? It's 9 Eastern, so it's 8 Central. Okay. Yep. It's really good. It's just one of, and Michelle does the same one. Um, and so she has one as well that she'll offer. I can't remember if she's picked a date yet for July. Yeah. Um, they do very similar ones. So, and it's, and Melanie Boland does a really similar one. Um, I will say we've watched all three and I, I just love Doug's energy on it. But then I love Michelle always gets, she, she's always closes people for me. Like Michelle really does. She's like, she's always the one that anytime that somebody's on hers, I get a close on Doug's it's, it's half and half, but I get, I get more conversations keeping going with this, I guess. Now that I think about it all. So. Um, He's very personable. Sunday night at eight or Monday night at eight. Sunday. 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 Okay. Yep. So, and that's nine your time, nine, our time. Nine Eastern. Nine eight Eastern, Central. eight Central. Yeah, it'll be posted in Team Give. Thank you. Yeah. All right, guys, who wants to do a quick um, smiley faces? Yes. Smile. Yay. I was like, what? <laughs> I was like, what is that? All right, guys. Um, so we'll continue to do these. Um, just know, look in the Team Give fan page for the Diamond Dash information if you really want to push and grow. Um, even if you're not going for Diamond, it's still going to be helpful. Just motivation tips that um, we're like all going for Diamond. <laughs> it's going to be Diamond. We are. Uh, uh, correction. We are all Diamonds. We are all <laughs> Diamonds. Yeah. Call ourselves the Diamond Dogs. The Diamond Dogs. <laughs> Well, it's that song. You know what I'm talking about, right? No. You're going to have to post that one. From the Moulin Rouge. 